Hi guys, it's Bella. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I haven't done a book haul in months on this channel. I think since my birthday, which was like, I got like 65 books or something. It was the craziest book haul I've ever done, but I don't think I've done one since then. And your girl continues to get books, like literally every day. So I've gotten quite a few over the last like two weeks. So I thought it'd be fun to do another book haul. Okay, cool. If you guys want to see all the books I've gotten over the last like two weeks or so, definitely keep watching and subscribe to my channel if you like book content and give it a big thumbs up. Let's just get started. Starting with Zodiac Academy, my baby girl. I have my books up here but I have not read the first one as told from the boys perspective. I just got this yesterday as a gift and I'm really excited. So yeah, it's The Awakening but told from the boys perspective. If you've read it, you know and I'm just really excited to go back into this world and genuinely see what was going through their minds. I have been reading the Plated Prisoner series. I'm actually currently on gold as we speak and I didn't own any of the books so I ordered them all. They're All the ones I've read are right over here so I've got the four and then this is the fifth one and then I also bought Goldfinch because I'm just flying through these books and I will be finishing them probably this week. So I've gotten all six of the Plated Prisoner books. It is a fantasy series that is truly incredible. I haven't read a fantasy series like this in a really long time. Honestly, I think that the main character in these books has the coolest character design of any character I've ever read in a book. So, Harper Collins actually sent me this. It's Tessa Bailey's book, Window Shopping. It's really tiny. It's like barely over 200 pages and it's a little, fun Christmas holiday book. It's two weeks before Christmas and our main character Stella is standing outside a famous department store when a charming man asked her opinion on some decor. She did not know that he owned the place that he's asking for advice on and now she's working for that man. Trying to ignore that he's super hot, obviously. So it's a fun little Christmas romance. I'm really excited to read that. I'm gonna probably read it a little bit towards the end of November, closer to December, to get ready for the holidays. I picked up Immortal Dark by, I'm not gonna say it. I don't wanna mess up any author's names. I know that this is like a dark romance. I think it might be fantasy but it says no soul can enter without an invitation on this sprayed edge and that's really beautiful so that's why i picked it up but i think it's like a dark romance dark fantasy romance vampire there's vampires in this book oh my gosh i'm missing this every time i go to barnes and noble i know it got like barnes and noble pick of the month a few months ago it's long live evil it's time for your villain era i know that our main character ray loves books and as she's dying she seizes a chance at living she takes a magical bargain to let her enter the world of her favorite fantasy series but when she gets in her favorite fantasy series it is not like she was expecting and she ends up playing the villain role which sounds so freaking good and a lot of amazing authors have blurbs on the front so I just know this book's gonna be amazing. I ordered these special edition Tessa Bailey books from Fairy Lou and they came in and I just think they're so cute. It happened one summer in Hook, Line, and Sinker. So beautiful. Love the edges. Beautiful books. They are giving summer though so I may not read them clo until closer to the summer next year. Unless I'm feeling like I need an escape from the winter, then I might pick them up, but they're so beautiful given summer romance. The new Salem's Lot movie just came out on Max and I want to watch it so bad, but I'm going to read the book first. And I know that this book is important for another series that I'm reading by Stephen King. So I picked up Salem's Lot. I don't really know what it has to do with vampires or zombies based on the cover of the book, but I have no idea. I enjoy Fred McFadden's books a lot when I need just like a quick thriller to escape from all my fantasy books. So I picked up The Perfect Sun. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've read a lot of her books and this is one of the only ones left that I feel like really interests me. So I'm excited to read this. It's about a son acting sus. A high school girl vanishes from their neighborhood and the police suspect this woman's son and so it's kind of uncovering if her son did it. We have Lynn Painter's new book, Nothing Like the Movies, which is the sequel to Better Than the Movies with Liz and Wes. And I am excited to read this, except for the fact that I've heard kind of nothing but negative things. I've heard that, you know, it wasn't really needed and it's kind of 
like why this this couple was perfect and they had like the best happy ending in the first book why did you make them break up so i don't know i'll see for myself but i picked up the barnes and noble exclusive cover because i really like the orange we bought the kingdom of the wicked books i have the third one coming in the mail because my barnes didn't have the exclusive edition this is a fantasy series that i don't know anything about but it says two sisters one brutal murder a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself and an intoxicating romance i'm all about it so we've got this trilogy like i literally don't know what i'm talking about so don't take me too seriously when i say this but i'm pretty sure throne of the fallen is somehow related to this book series it's the same author like maybe it's same universe different story type vibe i literally have no idea so don't take me too seriously so i also picked this up because i'm probably gonna read it like right after i finish these like i just know myself all these books have really pretty sprayed edges which is really fun and when i was walking through barnes and noble with these series one of the workers walked past me and she's like those are so good and i was like awesome I picked up The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, and this sounds really good to me too. It sounds really fun and magical. It's The Night Circus Arrives Without Warning. No announcements precede it. It's just simply there when yesterday it wasn't. It is an utterly unique experience full of breathtaking amazements, only open at nighttime. But behind the scenes, a fierce competition is underway, a duel between two young magicians, Celia and Marco who have been trained since childhood for this purpose. A game in which only one can be left standing, high stakes, and then they tumble headfirst into love. So sounds really fun and magical and romance and high stakes and I'm all about it. Oh my gosh, this book, The Seven and a Half, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Let me tell you, when I first heard about this book, I was like, okay, it's seven husbands of evelyn hugo rip off and i was like i'm never reading this book what are you talking about then i've heard nothing but good things about it so it's about um a masquerade ball thrown by her parents and evelyn hardcastle will die and she continues to die every day until she discovers who her killer is so i'm assuming she dies seven and a half times but this premise just sounds so fun so i'm so excited to read this and i'm sorry that i ever doubted you I also picked up The Bridge Kingdom by Danielle Jensen, and she's the same author that wrote A Fate Inked in Blood, which I actually have not read. But this one sounds really fun. It's going to be a series, and this is the first one. It's a sweeping, sizzling fantasy romance filled with political intrigue and passionate love. Warrior Princess is trained in isolation. Lara is driven by two certainties. The first is that King Arryn of the Bridge Kingdom is her enemy, and the second is that she needs to bring him to her knees. It's giving fantasy romance with some high stakes and I'm all about this, and the cover is so beautiful, and thank you for bringing it out in paperback. Last but not least, Spectacular just came out. It is the Caraval holiday novella, and if you, I have a video coming out in a few days of all the books that I've been avoiding reading and this series is actually in that video. So I bought this to entice me to continue to read that series so I can get to this beautiful book because I just love a holiday novella, okay? We love the fun art. We love the Christmas nods, the holiday nods, the, the art, beautiful map. So I need to read this because I'm just gonna love it. I just know it. That is all of the books that I have collected over the last couple weeks and books that I hope to read very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time when I post a new book video. I appreciate you guys subscribing and watching my content. So I appreciate you sticking around and I'll see you guys next time.